Nahid Khamaldin has testified an executive at a holding company asked her to hypothetically inflate AO Technology Solutions' gross profit margin. This would make it look as if the company's profits was 50 million rand after tax rather than 32 million. But it appears these theoretical results were then submitted as if they were the actual financials. He queried why the margins were so low as he was expecting a higher profitability and asked me to adjust the spreadsheet to reflect the usual margins to show him what the effect on PAT would then be. These very same results are now being investigated by the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. Hamaldine was also asked why millions of rands was paid from AO's bank accounts to Three Laws Capital owned by Iqbal Survey. She said she was instructed to do so in an attempt to diversify the company's cash holding. In retrospect, I realized that I erred in making the payments, but did so because Abdullah was adamant that the payments be made. The board subsequently ratified this as an investment with Three Laws Capital and I signed an investment mandate to this effect. The Commission has queried the state of corporate governance at AO after it was revealed another consortium of surveys, Premier Fishing, was used to fund the buying of AOBE shares. The inquiries asked the evidence leader to keep an eye on Khamaldin in case there are any repercussions resulting from her testimony given she still works for AO in another capacity. In a statement, AO denies there would be negative repercussions for employees called to testify at the Commission. Heidi Jokas in Pretoria.